sorry about the delay i had to go to the bathroom after i started the countdown so let me just change the ticker right sorry uh, about the delay uh, uh, some technical difficulties were there also i had to go to the bathroom so people keep asking for advice on promoting a youtube channel and i don't know why they ask me because mine are not even big channels but there is some good advice i want to give you if you start a youtube channel and you want to promote it and you make want to make sure that you you know uh, out do your com- competition uh, the way to do it is you know put out a video ask people to like share subscribe and everything hit the bell icon also please do ask them and then the next day send police to their house to intimidate them into not uploading any videos because i'm sure you know that you are incompetent and if the playing field was level you will never win you know that the only way you can succeed as a youtuber is if other youtubers are scared using anti terrorism laws into not uploading videos that's the only way you can win this is also the extended metaphor that goes into uh, the kid who wants to be a bicycling champion who wants to win all races but he also knows that he doesn't wo- have what it takes so the only way he can win is by making sure that all the other kids have deflated tires because he knows that if the playing field was level and everyone got to compete against him he will be nowhere to be seen he'll get wiped out so he does these things i think it's a very good tactic this is how you win of course if you are of a certain ideology this is your definition of winning and uh, triumphing this is how you get to thump your chest of course there is there is no underlying political message in it this is purely about cycling and about running youtube channels but welcome uh, this has been more live it's a live stream that happens every wednesday and every saturday on youtube and twitch it's happening on twitch right now also you can see it at twitch.tv/thevimo show uh, uh on saturdays i take callers and on uh wednesdays i read comments and respond so if you have anything you want me to respond to as an atheist or just you know all the other stuff that we also talk about feel free to leave them in the chat i'll remind you that you can uh mm 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 I'll remind you that you can support the channel by becoming a member by clicking the join button below and you can send a super chat or you can simply go to my website at www.vemo.in and click the support button there in order to make a contribution of any amount of a choice you can also send money directly by, via upi at vemo at upi you i'm an independent content creator and my content is uh, sponsored by people like you so thanks in advance let us look at comments hmm अच्छा ये थोड़ा टाइम पहले आया था वैंस्ड एडर सेज दिस माइट बी अ स्ट्रांग वन टू स्टार्ट विद बट आई बिन वीनिंग ऑफ रिलीजन होली एंड रिसेंटली माय पेरेंट्स हैव बिन टॉकिंग अबाउट टेकिंग अ पिलग्रिमेज एंड हियर्स द थिंग आई हैव नो क्वॉम्स अबाउट इट इट्स जस्ट दैट आई हैव बिन फीलिंग अ बिट ऑफ गिल्ट ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड वेयर आई वांट टू बी सपोर्टिव ऑफ व्हाटएवर दे वांट बट स्टिल फील लाइक माय लैक ऑफ बिलीफ माइट हर्ट देम और ब्रिंग देम अ बैड रैप वैंस्ड दिस इज समथिंग दैट्स गोइंग टू हैपन राइट बट यू नीड टू टेल योरसेल्फ if your parents are getting some value out of it what exactly is it that they're getting because if god does not exist if there is no supernatural element at the places of pilgrimages that they want to go they're basically doing tourism right i mean that's what pilgrimage is at the end of the day it's tourism people uh, when when you see government ads promoting a certain pilgrimage site you are basically looking at the work of the department of tourism so don't feel bad about it if there are conversations about religion to be had with your parents i'm sure you have them as civilly as possible or in whatever way you deem fit because you know the dynamic between you and your parents better than i or anyone else can but if you tell yourself that they're just engaging in tourism it it's not that bad people need to go out sometimes in order to feel good that's it um mm-hmm. uh I cannot read your name because it is written in Bangla but your comment is your take on Bihar's data release on the caste census and its effect on upcoming elections I think Nitesh Kumar I think this is what you call a master stroke 
in an election where you are part of a political alliance that is up against a party that managed to win elections in 2019 and 2014 by rerouting a whole lot of dalit bahujan adivasi support towards itself by promising to make them hindu and other things the best thing you could possibly have done is demonstrate that those promises were hollow and that's what nitish kumar is doing through the caste census that's what rahul gandhi is doing through all the speeches that's what the india alliance generally should focus most of its energy on and if you want a simple explanation for uh, why raids on youtubers houses have started happening uh, please understand that these raids started happening the exactly one day after the bihar uh, caste census or caste survey results came out understand where it is coming from so yeah amit matthew thank you for the 10 dollar super chat what is your take on religious practices which align with humanist practices example langar at gurudwaras i think pe- feeding people is a noble cause if uh, you don't need to be religious in order to help people but if your religion manifests as charity work then great nobody is going to stand against it as long as you're not practicing exclu- as long as you're not engaging in exclusionary practices so yeah um ye kya hai apne aap scroll ho raha sorry 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 um chocolate says uh, why i can't see the join button uh, you need to go to the website and check youtube.com/vimolive in order to find the join button maybe sometimes it doesn't show on the mobile sarcastic skeptic says hey, hey vimo did you watch the bhagwan bharose movie trailer no i have not i have not seen it um aisha aasha kiran says vimo why don't you make videos on already popular right wing creators like sham sharma engineer explains etc as we as audience get a lot and your channel also gets famous i do sometimes i made one about praveen mohan i made one about kirti history uh, we did a live stream on meghnar's channel last week about uh, j sai deepak's interview on beer biceps podcast which by the way if you have not seen go to meghnar's channel and check out it was it's beautiful it's it's quite nice and also see all the all the jalan in the comments from sanghees it's 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 quite a sight uh, but yeah i'm planning to look at more people i i have never ever seen even one sham sharma video he just doesn't show up on my uh, page i have never seen this engineer explains thing either i have not seen it but i'll try to look at them uh rath ji says did you read about the bihar caste census data yes already answered that uh carly marxi says oh maza aa gayi chad de phatte nab de gilli vimo ki favorite hai kali bil i have no idea what it means well 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 guess who is here i don't know who um sarcastic skeptic says what's your personal opinion on hedonism the purpose of life is to maximize pleasure uh i don't have a huge problem with people who live in order to experience pleasure but in the on the odd occasion where hedonism translates into apathy there might be some problems i know some people who call themselves hedonists i find them decent people taranga says uh, no arpit half the business in this country both governmental and private sector is in collab with chinese companies only yeah so co- there was someone she was answering someone kya hmm. ha arpit says is taking chinese money a crime for whatever purpose it may be well uh, if it is then why is delhi police not at the homes of uh, gautam adani or any of the big business people who have funding coming from china think about it baki says do you think there is any popular indian scientist who promotes scientific temper like those in the west like neil tyson or brian cox etc here they just suck up to majority and start shit about vedas Uh, so any content creator any science communicator who wants to be relevant may find themselves having to suck up because that's the only way they're going to be taken seriously but yes there are science communicators in india who uh, who who are not suckers uppers 
and you will find some of them speaking at essence the recent event that happened uh, in kerala which was essentially uh, sorry it happened yeah kerala it it was essentially world's biggest atheist meet there were rationalists scientists science communicators like pranav etc pranav was not there this time i think i don't know maybe he was maybe he wasn't mk says can you make a do's and don'ts video on atheism because it's very confusing whether or not being part of any religious festivals and telling family if they should do or do not the same mk that's the joyous part of atheism there is no do and don't all atheism is is your position of belief on the god on god's existence or not there is no do's and don'ts and i don't want to be a prophet figure who tells thou shalt not do this or that because that's quite that that's quite antithetical to what atheism is or i think even should be there is no do and don't there are people who are raving uh, you know the genocide supporters who are atheists and there are very gentle souls who are also atheists there are people who want to call themselves hindu atheists there are people who call themselves muslim atheists and christian atheists also culturally speaking so there is no do and don't just the fact that you lack belief in the claim that god or gods exist that is all uh daily and daily says hey broccoli there was a reason due to which i didn't so thanks for understanding i don't know internal conversation chal raha hai kuch <clears throat> uh daily and daily says vimo i am from last stream i was talking about black pill i am not great in explaining so i want to recommend a video of wheat waffles of blue pill red pill black pill in one video okay i'll check it out i'll i'll try to check it out no promises sai deepak says ghar ke logo ko chup karao bahar ke logo ko bolo external interference mother of democracy yeah mm. anurag says Rag- ragnar lothbrok once said if god if god does not exist we must have to deal with it i don't know who ragnar lothbrok is or what context they were saying this in Mm. Armadillo says hi Vimo sorry for the long question in advance you may be familiar with the different astic and nastic schools that fall under hinduism the nastic schools are all atheistic and a majority of the astic schools are also atheistic only yoga and vedanta the schools that modern day vaishnavism is mostly inspired from are theistic what i am wondering is what is the intersection what i am wondering is what is the intersection between modern day atheistic movements and the already atheistic schools of thought within hindu are mera mic niche reh gaya hindu philosophy would it be more valuable to inform hindus about and move them towards atheistic threads within hinduism or is indian atheism supported through science and rationalism without connections to hindu philosophy a better approach i define hinduism as how hindus today behave but the question is about structure of atheistic movements so my biggest problem with hindu atheism of this variety is that it appropriates a lot of pre hindu traditions into itself also you can call these indian atheists or ancient indian atheism schools ancient indian philosophy schools and i'll have no problem with it because the books that mention these things do not mention the word hindu the people who describe themselves as hindu today are applying a contemporary label to ancient indian practices and appropriating these traditions into their own thinking or their way of life in order to make them appear older than they are they're not hinduism is a relatively recent phenomenon if you want to talk about indian philosophical traditions i'm all for it i'm mighty pleased about the fact that india had atheists and materialists in 650 bc right unfortunately we don't have much work left by them remaining so i find it more convenient to just call myself an indian atheist because as far as time is concerned i have more in common with an atheist living on earth in any part of earth today because of you know global communication has made it possible for some kind of human civilization or human culture to emerge i find that that is more the case uh the problem with making people aware of ancient traditions is that i i just shared a reel by aruna now who's a twitch streamer by the way and who i want to collaborate with sometime soon he said that fascistic politicians in every third world country you know or you know third world within quotes in every uh, south asian east asian country will try to use narratives about decolonizing the native mind in order to promote their own nationalistic politics it's not helpful to it's not helpful to feed that narrative 
i am all for decolonizing decolonizing indian minds in fact my biggest problem with people who are conspiracy theorists of the pravin mohan variety is that they're actually colonized minds who don't realize that they're colonized minds when you find iphones and stuff in ancient architecture what you are doing is that you're looking at ancient india through a lens that has been given to you by modern west so i am i am completely in favor of promoting ancient indian traditions as long as they are not packed along with that other thing which is contemporary modern hindu religion that's the issue <clears throat> i hope that was the answer to your question the question is so long that i may have missed some parts of it <laughs> waki koki says make discord i don't know if you meant i should create discord in society or that i should have a discord server uh, if you meant discord server i had a discord server it was a pain in the ass to manage it and to moderate it so i deleted it right now i don't have a discord reddit this live stream is the only place that exists there is a comment section you guys can socialize there you can socialize in the live chat here uh, at some point of time like meghna i'm also going to start doing members only streams so anyone who wants to become a member there is only priced one price tier and i'm not going to add another one so the more people who join the more that becomes feasible for me so go ahead and do so become a member and we will have uh, periodic uh, member streams here shai holo thank you for the 2 dollars shai holo says atheist commandment sandworm is the only god <laughs> shai hulu um raj chetri says i hear this counter to reservation every day many well to do st sc obc people get reservation reservation is not meant for lifting economic conditions but why does rich privileged sc kid need it because the rich privileged sc kid is still getting discriminated against on the basis of their caste Now the people who make this so called argument quote unquote argument don't understand that because they have never seen discrimination of that sort also there is an entire playlist on this channel called caste conversations which are basically clips of conversations i have had about this exact point with people who make this exact point on this live stream please watch it i have answered this question many 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 times before thank you hmm Light Yagami says, "Yeah, why Langars are not providing non-veg food to poor? I have never attended a, attended a Langar. I suppose Langars are, uh, la- I suppose Langars are a charitable way of providing food to the poor, and the for whatever reason they have decided not to, you know, not to uh, provide non-veg food. The if you are looking to compare this." to certain colleges and universities having separate seating sections for veg and non-veg food the problem is not non-veg or veg food everyone has a right to provide or consume whatever food that they want the problem is an institution taking sides an institution creating separate sitting areas for people who consume vegetarian food and people who consume non-vegetarian food that is the problem shai holood says indian right wing talk so much about anti colonialism but none of their ideological ancestors were major freedom fighters they are always averse to anti establishment first with british now with bjp yeah the indian right wing whenever they talk about decolonization what they are actually doing is that they are taking the rhetoric of decolonization again this is something i'm borrowing from arun i have written about this previously but most recently i saw it in a reel from him they are taking the rhetoric of being anti west or Uh, imperialism etc they are taking the anti imperialistic rhetoric and they are appropriating it to promote their own nationalistic version of reality there is definitely a case for being anti imperialistic there is definitely a case for being uh, you know anti uh, colonial but the best work in that area has always been done by the left not the right the right simply comes along later and tries to appropriate it because they don't have the intellectual capacity to come up with something new and also this is convenient you know this is high in a behavior someone else does the killing you come and steal the meat what do you think of nationalism i think of nationalism uh, the same way that rabindranath tagore thought of it please look him look up his opinions the ai show says uh, are all pleasures material that's a very interesting question uh can you give me any example of a pleasure that is not material 
I mean, I know there is in language, there is a category of pleasures, which people define as non-material, right? If someone reads a book and feels happy, then they will say this is an, a, not a material pleasure. But we have, the, there is some linguistic trickery going on there. We have started thinking of material pleasures as things that have to do with possessions, objects, and money. When even reading a book is a material pleasure because the book is made of matter. Even listening to music is material because your body is matter, you are hearing through your ears, and the music has been composed by someone using material tools. So I would say that in the latter context, yes, all pleasures are probably material. And in the former context, there's a discrepancy in the definition. <clears throat> Mm. Uh, Ayanava Day says your R's are getting more and more erotic sometimes outside the context of a word I am not sure I understand that but if you are referring to their R sound then yeah when I speak fast they become R Deepthi says how can vegans differentiate themselves from people who use diet to propagate caste that's interesting I suppose, uh, I suppose some amount of disambiguation might become necessary for them. I have spoken to vegans who are totally against Hindutva politics and who are at pains to explain that, yeah, we are not one of them. We just want you to be nice to animals. Uh, I suppose every vegan is going to find a different way to do it. I, I don't know how because I have not really given it that much thought. I suppose... Uh, if a vegan is really at pains to explain this, they should start out by saying, hey, I know whenever someone says, don't eat meat, you think of those guys, we are not them. But we still want to talk to you because I think this is something that is good for people and for the environment and for the world. And for, you know, other sentient beings, of course. <laughs> mm. Krish Kool says, do people watch question... Everything channel by Satya Anveshi. He usually keeps a live stream on every Sunday from 3 Varewa. Yeah, he's in a Kisiko promote Kardia. Yeah, those are YouTubers ko Mutse Bina Puche promote Matkaro. Send me a message. I will take a look at the channel and I will promote it. Rengoku says every PM care fund, even PM care fund was funded by Chinese companies. So it's only fair if they also arrest our supreme leader also. Yeah. The problem is not that the government is. See, if the government said, Here's this thing. We are declaring it illegal. Don't do it. I am pretty sure nobody will have a problem with it. The problem is there is a thing whose legality is in question. And then some people who do it get punished and other people get away scot-free. That is the issue here. King Cog says, uh, Vimo, my father has had a political background. And so I plan on running as Vidhayak in coming decades. But I don't believe any parties in India are really close to my leftist ideology, what do I do? I don't know what answer you want from me. I have zero idea about politics. You can probably start your own political party or join a political party which is closest to the way you think. And then later, you know, I, I don't even know how to start thinking about this. Ask Meghnad this question. He, he will have a better understanding. Raj says, please give some good YouTube channel suggestions like you, of course, apart from Meghnad and Science is Dope. Uh, I just told you guys about Arun. Arun does a Twitch stream. His handle, I think, is A R U N A N N O W. Arun and now. Uh, that's a good Twitch stream. There is also uh, someone called Deepak Bodh who does YouTube videos. Sorry, Instagram videos. I think I'm going to have him on my channel sometime next week. So you guys can talk, uh, you know, find out more about him. There is, uh, uh, there is a person i'm forgetting the name there is a there is a youtuber called play pale blue thoughts english channel indian rationalist channel there is something called rationable that's also an indian english channel there is uh yeah these are the ones that come to mind right now if i think of more i'll tell you Oh yeah, Krish Ashok is there. Krish Ashok is the greatest of all time science communicator in India. Yeah, he focuses on food a lot and he disambiguates a lot of food-related misinformation. The AI show says, oh, I already read that. Um, MK wants 10 commandments for atheism from Prophet Vimal. <laughs> Chiranjit says, what is your opinion on Periyar and his politics and practices? I'm largely in support of them. I am... Uh, he, uh, 
you guys have probably heard me talk about power structures tens of times on this live stream periyar's guiding principle would be that whoever is more powerful and is engaging in oppressive practices i'm against him i agree same here um mm-mm. Amit Matthew, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Fines and bail are just price tags for crime. Thoughts? That's one way of looking at it. Sure, fines and bail are just price tags for crime. That's true. Uh, I I don't think I have a huge problem with it, uh, except to say that, in support of it, except to say that uh, you don't often see rich people spending a lot of time in hawalat, do you? It's not because rich people are more moral. It's just that. uh it, it, like i i've been watching a detective serial where the detective it's called colombo and every episode the main the murderer is a really smart affluent very cerebral rich person right privileged rich person an actor a judge a very well known celebrity something like that and it is very enjoyable but the thing that i notice is that rich people don't get away with crime because they're smart like the serial shows they get away with crime because they have a lot of money and political power right so yeah it's uh, what we describe as crime is pretty much society's conception of reasons for which we can put poor people in jail and exploit them even more sure there is crime but uh, the crime i think of someone who defrauds a bank and runs away to a foreign country with the hard earned money of millions of indian people is a bigger crime than someone stealing 2000 rupees because they didn't have food so yeah there is a difference of degree there and it's so vast that it may just be a difference of kind Luko says, uh, "Essence Global, one of the atheist rationalist groups in Kerala, which Pranav went to, acts mostly like atheist morcha wing of RSS, especially Sanghi Stooge Ravi Chandran, who is the face of the group. I don't know anything about this. I was aware that this group is something that happens, but I think it is uh, equally critical of Hindu to politics and Hindu to superstition as it is of Islamic. So I don't know what to make of this." Grizzly says I'm an atheist can an agnostic atheist and atheist have a debate if yes then would you be then giving argument logic on probability of god being existing sorry if i'm completely wrong or dumb here an agnostic atheist and an atheist have a debate about what neither of them believes in god are you saying a debate between an agnostic atheist and a gnostic atheist that can happen and in that case i think the burden of proof would be on the gnostic atheist because the gnostic atheist is saying that i know there is no god and there is no way they can justify it according to me at least an agnostic atheist mm. anurag says your take on social democracy in india and ragnar lothbrok was norwegian ruler featured in the series yeah it, it does sound like a viking name i knew it rang a bell i just couldn't tell i have not seen the series viking your take on social democracy in india i don't know what you're asking me are you asking me social democracy can work in india yes i think it can it will take some political motivation and a serious reduced reliance on corporate money in politics but yeah it can work rengoku says vimo what are your thoughts on charvak followers who call themselves atheist but do not and had not opposed caste practices in the past and in today's india obviously i'm opposed to them but the thing is we know so little about charvaks that it is hard for me to say whether they supported caste system or not right so i don't know what to criticize them on because we don't have much remaining about much that remains of their writings akanksha agarwal says in sabrimala kesh sai deepak claimed that lord ayappa has a right to celibacy and the only woman justice on the bench descended the judgment that women should be allowed in the temple comments i am not aware of the woman justice on the bench dissenting against the judgment and what Her, the basis of her objection was so i will refrain from commenting on it however the idea that a non existent deity has rights i wonder if jay sai deepak would be okay if i extended that to a deity of my choice and then i dictated what that deity wants a there is no evidence that the deity exists b how do we know that the deity wants 
what Jay Sai Deepak says they want. Maybe they don't want it. Maybe they don't. Maybe they want something else. Maybe the deity want. Maybe the deity wants women to come to the temple. Is there any basis to say that a the deity has rights and that those rights are understood by any human being? <clears throat> and if the answer to that says, if the answer to that is, uh, you know, whatever the temple believes, then you're not really talking about the preferences of the deity, are you? You're talking about the preferences of certain human beings who are hiding behind the deity. <clears throat> Kiel Chip says, Sham Sharma is also one of those spin doctors who justifies his own Islamophobia by pretending like people like Ambedkar, left-leaning people, might idolize. Was also uh, he that he also hated Islam. Yeah. yeah. This is all an appropriation game. In logo mein intellectual muscle nahi hai ki wo samne aake apne views ko justify kar sake. Isliye wo kabhi iske piche chupte hain, kabhi uske piche chupte hain, kabhi kuch hyper, uh, matlab kuch kuch hypothetical banana ke uske piche chup jate hain. They don't have logic on their side. That's why they are forced to do this. Cherry picks a statement when in fact Ambedkar was critical of all religions. Also his comments on Reddit community. On comments and Reddit community is horrifying. I have not, I am not on Reddit really. I have an account but I don't spend much time on it. Daily on Daily says black pill uh, only conventionally attractive people, tall, attractive etc. has more chances of success in dating, landing a job and many more things. I disagree. Completely disagree. I've seen so many people who are really attractive have terrible dating lives. And I've seen so many people who might be described as plain looking by most people who observe them who have great dating lives. This idea of dating being based purely on physical appearance is something that has come about in recent times and is promoted by a very certain kind of American conservative YouTuber. It's complete horseshit. Complete effing horseshit. Shahilud says, right wing talks about decolonizing, but when they see Gori Memsab in Sadi, look, she's more Indian than Indian girls. Yeah. <laughs> the right wing has a serious colonial hangover. Serious colonial hangover. Armadillo says, it did answer my question. Thank you. I think these schools of thought are worth exploring and discussing too. I agree that those working on making these works accessible should be vigilant that their writings, works don't feed modern day Hindu nationalist narratives. Thanks again. Great, Armadillo. I'm so glad that I understood your question and answered it properly. Uh, also, thank you for being on Twitch. JMD Media says, Hinduism is actually an atheist ideology, I am told, and the RSS and just attacking the Abrahamic God concept to promote Mandir Wapsi. Uh, that is not at all clear from the things that they do. Hinduism is an atheist ideology means Hinduism is an ideology and there will be 10 Hindus who will have completely different definitions of Hinduism. There are people who say, hey, Upanishad Ved, sir, chhod do, Gita hi asli cheez hai. People like Acharya Prashant will say, Gita Ved, sir, chhod do, Upanishad asli cheez hai. Uh, then there will be people who say, hey, Upanishad, sir, chhod do, back to the roots, go to the Vedas, wo asli cheez hai. Then there will be people who say, kuch hai matter nahi karta, main naaste go. Which ideology is it? I define Hinduism as the actions of Hindu human beings right now. That's all. It is actions that decide, de define a thing. Uh, let's look at uh, some things. Hey, Meghnath has been a member for 11 months. Thanks, Meghnath. Much appreciated. Came to use my perk and send this message. Did you already discuss caste census? Yeah, thoda bahut. But I suspect that you will have much more to say about it. Uh, MK, thank you for the 40 rupees. Commandment de rahe, then I will join paid stream. <laughs> nah, nah, MK, my commandment on neither rahe. I don't want to promote that kind of thinking. But you should still probably join the paid streams. Grizzly says, Kya khana khao ge aaj? Aaj kya khao ga? Uh, roti sabzi, I think. Wahi hota hai roz. I'm, my, my, my diet is not very varied because I have... Uh, my, my digestive system is not very cooperative most of the time. So I watch my eating habits and my sleeping habits like a hawk. I wake up at the right time, sleep at the right time, eat at the right time, eat more or less the same thing. Lunch, I salad. salad I roti khani shuru kar because I was getting hungry around 5 o'clock. And uh, yeah, kuch matlab variety nahi hai. Kabhi bahar jata hon, thoda bahut splurge kar leta hon, but that too I have to watch these days. Age happens, man. Your body will soon start giving up. I'm 40 years old. I, I don't want to be the 40 year old who does not take care of herself and then regrets it really a lot at 50. 
so i have started taking care of myself a little bit somnath thank you for the 200 rupees super chat vimo please keep up the good work just a token of appreciation great to see you collab with meghnath on jsi this person seems very dangerous and well articulated counter is very very needed thank you somnath glad you liked it uh, we will be doing more of these don't worry we will be doing more of these uh, the days of these guys saying random shit and getting away with it are definitely behind us uh mm-hmm. ttm says hey do you eat beef i can't eat pig at any cost but i don't have an issue with others eating it no i don't eat any meat i have stopped eating meat uh, i haven't had meat in many years and even then i never had the opportunity to eat beef uh, i have not also eaten pig i've only had chicken and mutton and fish and i still eat eggs by the way <clears throat> brother said vimo what is your counter against uh, counter argument to the kalam cosmological argument come on saturday present it we'll talk i, I mean i say to the, i have to present the whole argument then debug and step by step and then you will come hey ye wala theek nahi tha come on saturday present it we'll talk we'll talk face to face lm says i think i think sadistic pleasures are not materialistic hmm see i had this question some time ago about how if i get tickled i my impulse is don't tickle me right but i'm laughing right so it's a thing that makes me laugh but i don't want it to do it and then khujli scratching myself can be deeply satisfying if you have a serious itch and you scratch it it can be deeply satisfying but it's probably closer to pain because you can scratch yourself red right so you have scratching as an example where you are literally peeling off your skin very aggressively and you like it and then there is tickling which is causing you to laugh and it's probably pleasure but you don't want it so i don't think that distinction is very easily made i think endorphins are released in our body whenever we scratch and if our brain finds that a pleasurable state to be in then it will continue doing it have you never scratched yourself so hard that you bleed or that your skin skin turns red because you know mosquito tha ya kuch aur tha think about it i don't think this question is as easily settled as pleasure versus pain mm. suggest a good book that will cover the overall history of odisha especially linguistic history i don't know about linguistic history but there is a book on odisha history which is called uh, a time elsewhere uh it's quite nice and i don't read odia books so i would not be able to recommend much but uh, a time elsewhere is recognized as one of the better books about the history of odisha gorav says what are your views on advaita vedanta gorav i have spoken about this before uh whenever i say anything about advaita vedanta someone comes and says hey that's not advaita vedanta because there are a few versions of it right so if you want to talk about it come on the live stream tell me what you mean by it and then we can talk uh, otherwise you can just go to the main page of this channel and search for advaita vedanta there are a few videos where i have talked about it chinmay says is talking to your best friend and getting pleasure from it a materialistic pleasure again the same thing applies if your friend is made of matter and if your ears are made of matter and if talking is only possible because of matter then is it a materialistic pleasure if your definition of materialistic is money and possession and consumerism then no it is not materialistic but if your definition of materialism is anything that is based in matter then sure it is your brain is made of matter any pleasure you experience using your brain by definition has to be materialistic right aditya says hi bimo one of the things i was thinking about was how do atheists like their body to be treated once they pass away a close friend of mine recently lost a close member of her family and he had nominated that his body be donated to the local hospital and it was and it is now in the hospital and it is becoming a source of knowledge for the students who are engaged in medicine that's one way of doing it otherwise you can listen after you die it doesn't matter the only thing i care about is that my body does not become a source of problems for people who are around it 
so you can either ask people to dispose of your body in a crematorium or bury it or you know take the ashes and plant it in the ground with a seed so that a tree grows there all are good options the po- the point of being an atheist is that you don't care what happens after you die right to your body that is you make you sure care about what happens to the people you cared about so you try to leave them a legacy or something but your body is immaterial it doesn't matter after you die while you are alive it does matter i don't want anyone to misquoting me on this while you are alive your body matters after you die your body should be the least of your concerns and will be the least of your concerns because you won't have any concerns what am i saying <clears throat> i got carried away with that answer um so yash thank you for the 100 rupees if you were to join a political party which one will it be i will not be joining a political party i think but i think a lot would depend on what choices you're offering me and the kind of thought that will go into it will be a which party which party is the least problematic in my view which party allows me to criticize it the most which i don't think any party will which party is able to act on the issues that are most important to me and uh, yeah and there are some parties which are out of the window straight from the get go because they're not political parties they're just terrorist organizations pretending to be political parties i think you know what i'm talking about those are not political parties i'm talking about options from all the other actual political parties um <clears throat> um mm-hmm. microbiologist monkey says the uncle is getting ragingly defensive and acting like typical whatsapp uncles despite being educated and talented which uncle kis uncle ki baat kar rahe ho oh my uncle was never a true believer in child uh, now his family is not in support with him so he has doubled down on religion and saying things like society ko leke chalna hoga okay i can't comment on this because i don't have the full context of it uh, i just a general notice if you are going to mention your relatives and your family members don't expect me to go into great detail talking about it because i am a huge believer in the fact that people should know what they are talking about and i don't a i don't know your family i don't know you and i don't know what relationship you have with your family so i will refrain from commenting on such matters if you don't mind thank you Shraddha says what is your routine what does an ordinary day in vimo's life look like i wake up at some time between 5 and 5:30 matlab 5 baje ka alarm lagata hu par uthte uthte 5:30 ho jate hain then i go do the things that people do in the bathroom then i come out then i uh, wash the dishes from the previous night bartan then i eat something then i go to the roof and i walk for 1 hour then i come down by that time my family has woken up and i make tea for people then we all sit down and drink tea then i sit down to work around 9 and then from 9 to 12 i either uh, you know record videos or podcasts or make videos or write something that i post to instagram i am a content creator that's my work and uh, around 12 i go make uh, salad that i eat for lunch and i also eat one roti that is made for me by someone else i eat all of that then i watch some detective serials in the afternoon i chill uh, and if i am feeling like taking a nap if i have slept late the previous night i take a nap to compensate for the lack of sleep i wake up around uh, 4 4:30 at which point of time i drink tea that i have not made and it is better tea than the tea that i make <clears throat> then the evening is the same i work at around 7 or 8 i stop working and start watching youtube videos uh as in you know debates discussions atheist experience podcasts or i read some and then i eat dinner and then i go to sleep that's my day usually abhay says if you keep your head shaved for long term would you change your profile pic to bald you oh yeah definitely i think i want to keep my head head shaved i want i i like this really short hair look and i think it suits me also because otherwise you have to do extra man to hide the fact that you're going bald i would rather shave shave my head i would rather be bald than balding so this is this is totally okay with me i want to keep my head shaved i don't know if i'll be able to but yeah 
Asha Kiran says, uh, Sham Sharma defends BJP in such a way that an average person without political knowledge will be, not be able to know it is false. Will be really good if you make a video on him as you are well-versed in politics. I don't know if I'm well-versed in politics, but we will definitely look into it. If there's a specific Sham Sharma video that you want us to react to, please let me know. Send it to me by email. My email address is vimo at vimo.in. V-I-M-O-H at the rate V-I-M-O-H dot I-N. Uh, unused material says, do you think Hindu debaters try to shift the goalpost whenever you criticize something in Hindu religion by claiming this is not part of the religion? Yes. And also it's not just Hindu debaters. It's Christian debaters and Islamic debaters also. Half the time you'll find that any theist who comes to debate with an atheist will either not have read their own holy book or have a very cookie cutter image of it. Like, you know, our book contains nothing but sweet, sweet stuff. Nothing but sweet stuff. How can you possibly be opposed to anything in our holy book because it contains nothing but sweetness? And then you point out, ye kya hai? Achha, ye, 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 ye to hoi nahi sakta? Hai, ye dekho. Tum galat interpretation kar rahe ho uska apne. Every single time. Pranav Priyadarshi says, many poor people accept crime of rich people in court and also spend their life in jail for money and survival of their family. Freedom can be bought. That's true. Freedom can be bought. And this is why we need to understand that you cannot have true justice in a society that is ruled by powerful rich people. Manavan says, uh, is Marxism a viable in a country like India? I went from being apolitical, I can afford to be apolitical, to starting a revolution in a matter of a few months. Am I wrong? What? I went from being apolitical to starting a revolution in a matter of a few months. Am I wrong? What revolution did you start? Am I talking to a revolutionary? Also, is Marxism viable in a country like India? Yes. You have not given me any reason to think that it is not. So if you bring me your objection, I can talk about it. Raj Webhav says, what consequences will be there if we have caste censors in Uttar Pradesh? Well, first of all, Uttar Pradesh ke bahut sare uh, Brahman, Thakur, uh, politicians ka career khatam ho jayega. Instantly. <laughs> Kyunki after that happens, and if people find out that a caste census has revealed that 60 to 70% of the people are not upper caste, फिर तो तुम भूल ही जाओ तुम अगली बार अपर कास्ट कैंडिडेट अगर उतारोगे चुनाव में क्या बोल के उतारोगे करियर खत्म हो जाएगा बहुत से लोगों का स्टडी जे ई से सोशल डेमोक्रेसी स्टिल कैपिटलिज्म बट एन नाइसर कैपिटलिज्म इट स्टिल हैज अ लॉट ऑफ शॉर्ट कमिंग्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन स्कैंडिनेवियन कंट्रीज दे रिलाय ऑन एक्सप्लोटेशन ऑफ ग्लोबल साउथ फॉर गुड्स या अ लॉट ऑफ यूरोपियन कंट्रीज विच हैव ऑन पेपर अ गुड सोशलिस्टिक सिस्टम are only able to maintain it because they have a lot of leftover money from World War II and that their countries, like London, London, it may be, it's not even socialist, but London, it may be argued, was built with money stolen from India. So when we look at these things, when we look, when we hold up uh, certain Western countries as ideals of socialistic reality, we need to also keep the historical context in mind. Waki Koki says, Charvak maybe is planted philosophy. Its actual name is Ajitesh Kambli, who was what? Its actual name is Ajitesh Kambli, who was a Buddhist presented atheist. Also, there is no evidence to support it. I don't know what you mean by it. Charvak maybe, are you talking about a YouTube channel or someone who calls himself Charvak? Because when we say Charvak, we mean a philosophy. How can the name of a philosophy be Ajitesh Kambli? Uh, unless I completely misunderstood you. Please uh, feel free to correct me. Ooh. Microbiologist says, when I told the uncle to come here and have a discussion, he said, Kuch kaam dhanda nahi hai. Kya ye sab karu? I wish I had debating and talking skills like you. If he doesn't want to, you shouldn't force him to. It's okay. Let him be. Brother Sid says, the Bible is the most banned book on earth, yet also the best selling. Pretty ironic. I don't know. Is, the mo is it the most banned book on earth? Let's see. Uh, the most commonly banned books of all time. The Bible has become the most banned book for the first time in history. Banning books is a weird thing. I think the majority of us, okay, this is not really a, 
what is the number one most banned book okay the on, on top of the list in 2022 and 2023 is a book called gender queer a memoir it was it remained at the top of the list as it was in 2021 2022 school year joined this time by flamer <clears throat> but i think this may be just an american list npr pe ek article hai jisme likha hai the holy bible makes library associations list of most challenged books so even that does not mean it is the most banned book um most challenged book banned from the bible okay no i don't know if i can justify that um uh, avi aroda thank you for the 100 rupees i wish to discuss something on saturday live video do i have to be a member to join please share the process no you don't have to be a member to join come when the live stream is going on on saturday at around 8 pm and uh, there will be a link on top of the chat if you click it you will join the queue and then you have to just wait for me to get to you because it's mostly first come first served unless i decide that i want to skip someone uh, you don't have to become a paying member to join the li- saturday live stream you don't have to thank you for the 100 rupees uh <clears throat> kartik says on the question of lord ayappa having right to practice celibacy question is why only women who can't menstruate we know people who can be pedo or interested in older yeah yeah look at the criteria i think when you open the gates to an argument like this deity does not want something or the deity has preferences or rights or you know something like that then anyone can claim anything right you say the dt doesn't want that i'll say the dt doesn't want this and if you say you have to look at the historical context of it i can say the dt told me that the historical context is irrelevant that's the problem with using fantasy arguments in court <clears throat> silver fang says vimo is marxism viable in a country like okay already read that Targaryen says hi bimo love your content what is your take on police raids on news click when opposition boycotts anchor the whole mainstream media starts debating but when there are raids on press all sh- the opposition did not boycott anyone who was a journalist i don't consider those people journalists they are political propagandists the people who have been raided by delhi police yesterday are indeed journalists because they are actually doing journalism refer to what i said about hindus i define hinduism as the actions of hindus i defined i defined a journalist as someone who does journalism the people who were boycotted by the india alliance are not journalists they are paid stooges who use their platform to promote one political party and its ideology it's perfectly okay to boycott them they are not journalists according to me the people who are raided by delhi police uh, news click definitely journalists and it should not have happened obviously and the reason it is happening is because in logo ki phat ke hath mein aa chuki hai 24 mein jaati hui dikh rahi hai power aur isliye desperate ho ke ye sab kiya ja raha hai is ummeed mein ki ye log youtube pe jo journalism karte hain ye log band kar denge wo nahi hone wala beta wo nahi hone wala tumhare hath se nikal chuka hai sab kuch microbiology says also could you make a separate video on what were the logics that used to be effective behind rituals which are not necessary now like shaving heads on the hmm, on the death of a family member blah blah you can find listen a lot of the so called logic behind rituals is pure symbolism which becomes part of which becomes a cultural habit and then people don't let go of it simply because their parents did it and their parents before them did it and to not do it would seem disrespectful because you were told to do it there is no other logic than that it's just habits it's old habits there is no logic to it whenever people offer a scientific reason for something they are mostly justifying it it's not as if they started doing it after they found the scientific reason they were doing it and then they got questioned about it and then they came up with this fancy scientific so called ex- explanation for it there is no logic behind it it's all made up <clears throat> jitender says damn you are 40 i thought you were about 25 uh, well if you are talking about iq then you are probably right <laughs> golf lover says vimo what was your cast before uh what was my cast before i cast before what to the best of my knowledge cast badalti nahi hai na 
I belong to an oppressive caste. I belong to an oppressor caste. That's all you need to know. Ark says, why is that creamy layer and on OBC justified? What was the basis of such change? Why is it that creamy layer on OBC is justified? What was the basis of such change? Has there been a change to the creamy layer system? Or is it more that the caste census has simply exposed how many OBCs are part of Bihar's population? I don't think the census has anything to do with the creamy layer. Stanley, do you cook? I try to. I make tea. I can make Maggi. I can make, I think I can make khichdi. I'm not sure. I have not done it uh, often. Uh, I make salad. And uh, roti mein bail nahi pata thik se. Australia ka map ban jata hai. But yeah. I, I can also make dosa. Shubhradeep Giri says, can you explain a bit on that naturalism thing, please? What naturalism thing? Do you mean philosophical naturalism? It's a philosophy. You can Google it. So Google philosophical naturalism or uh, methodological naturalism and you can find out what it means. Anushka says, do you actually like Ben 10? Are ye poster? I, I don't. So I think this was a free gift of some sort at Comic Con or something. And it's a, it's a holographic poster, like it moves around and two, you see two different images. I'll try to show you. It, is it showing? Like, Yeah, this is the Ben 10 holographic poster. I did like Ben 10 quite a lot. I did like Ben 10 quite a lot because it reminded me of another Indian superhero from a long time ago called Gojo. Gojo was a Raj comics character whose name was, uh, whose full name was Sapta Shakti Dharak Gojo. Basically, seven superpowers, seven superpowered beings lived inside Gojo's body and he could call upon any of their powers. There was uh, Guru Ghantal, Bijilika, uh, uh, Billori, Billora, Billora. Uh, I am forgetting some of those, but it was one of my favorite superheroes when I was a child. Raj Comics published them. These are some Raj Comics superheroes on the on 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 my left, and uh, that's what Ben Ten reminded me of. And Ben Ten was not even the first character like that. Before Gojo, uh, there were other that theme of one person having access to a number of superhero personas is not new. It's quite old. There are there are really old comics with this idea. And I quite like it. <clears throat> Avi says, Hi, Vimo. New to your channel. What is the process? Should... Oh, already answered, Avi. Thank you. Um, right. Um, mm, mm. Let me just take a look at if... Brother Sid says, Vimo, with all due respect, if I sincerely believe that it does not matter what happened to your body after you die, would that mean you would not mind if your mind yours being donated to necrophiliacs? No, I wouldn't because it would not hurt anyone. I really wouldn't. <laughs> I can understand people who care about me not wanting to do so. I can also understand me not wanting that to happen to other people who I care about because their bodies are the thing that I have related to my whole life. I cared about those people and on an emotional level, it would affect me. But what happens to my body, who cares? I'll be dead. I would want my body to be useful and I don't think necrophiliacs are the best use of it. So I would probably want my body to be given over to a hospital where it can be used to further the cause of science. Although what great scientific findings they'll find with my body, I cannot imagine. Chocolate Broccoli says, Brother said, why are you still Christian? We have facts about it. <laughs> if they want to talk, they can come on Saturday. Raghuveer says, how do you find the line that separates philosophy from religion? Because some of the Eastern philosophies often overlap with religion and studying it from an atheistic point of view becomes hard sometimes. Hmm, that's an interesting question. Uh, I don't define it. I don't try to categorize arguments as philosophical or religious because a lot of philosophy is just batshit crazy and a lot of religions, a lot of religious ideas can seem to be philosophical. So what I do is that I take things on a case by case basis. I'm talking about who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. 
और उस आर्ग्यूमेंट के पीछे क्या एविडेंस है दैट्स ऑल दैट्स ऑल दैट मैटर्स एंड इफ देर इज नो एविडेंस आई एम हैप्पी टू एंगेज इन स्पेक्यूलेशन राइट देर आर पीपल हुसे गॉड ऐसा होगा वैसा होगा दैट्स वेरी कूल टू मी बट आई आई हेजिटेट वेन पीपल ट्राई टू पास इट ऑफ एज रियलिटी स्पेक्यूलेशन हैज इट्स ओन प्लेस एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू एंगेज इन स्पेक्यूलेशन एज अ फैंटेसी राइटर ऑल्सो but uh, yeah case by case basis depends on who's saying it and what are they saying if someone says ki uh, i want to talk about the earth being 6000 years old as a philosophical idea i'm happy to talk about it but when they say that the earth is 6000 year old and is a scientific reality i will disagree because there is no evidence to support that claim and quite a lot of evidence to support the opposite of it that the earth is way older than 6000 years it doesn't matter if they call it philosophical it doesn't matter if they call it religious the idea itself can be evaluated without classifying it as philosophy or religion <coughs> exactly says four people on twitch wow hmm. twitch pe bahut se log jaate nahi hai one of these days i'm going to do a twitch exclusive stream although i don't know how i'll promote it maybe i'll do a half an hour stream here and then tell you guys to come to twitch that's how i got the youtube thing start live previously i used to do it on instagram youtube ko promote karne ke liye i used to start a stream on instagram and then say to abhi yahan pe instagram pe band karte hain chalo sab youtube pe and that, that's how i grew this channel uh, maybe that's what i have to do it twitch also um eh, it's nazneen ka gaya first comment ki dar nazneen ka nazneen says in the bible first chapter genesis the description of god's process to create the world is so totally off from reality example light made a few days before the sun stuff like that how can people be so blind to it even i never noticed it until i reread it after i stopped believing am i i'm still amazed at how i could not have seen it childhood indoctrination nazneen when we are children we don't know anything about anything so the our entire frame of reference for the world comes from things that people have told us and unfortunately a lot of the things that people tell us are counter to reality because they come from religious people it's not your fault the human brain at that age absorbs a lot of stuff simply in order to survive uh okay already answered that uh chocolate broccoli says we more recommend some good detective series or movie oh absolutely it's my one of my favorite genres watch uh, what i'm watching right now is called colombo you can find it online uh, c o l u m b o just uh, search for colombo detective series starring peter falk uh, fun fact in one episode spock L- leonard nimo is the villain in one episode it's it's quite cool to see him do the uh, evil uh, murderer thing uh i didn't spoil anything the the thing with colombo is that when the episode starts they tell you who committed the murder they show the whole thing the 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 joy of the episode is in finding how the detective finds it out uh smokes them out so i didn't spoil anything uh there is also monk i'm sure you all have heard of it it was on star world when i was growing up now it's probably on some network that i don't know about monk is a great show monk is probably better than sherlock holmes in some respects uh there is of course there is a bbc sherlock not that great but still okay there is the old sherlock holmes series also on bbc if you search for sherlock holmes old series you can find some episodes on youtube also there is uh, um miss maple there is miss maple there is agatha christie's hercule poirot all the episodes are you can find them online uh there is also uh the hercule poro movie is being made now uh by what's his name i'm forgetting his name but the two movies have come out a third one is coming so yeah all of these aditya natraj says my question about treating a dead body is related to the kind of practices upper caste hindus follow i remember one explanation given for one ritual was as follows animals insects and shudras oh god what is the second part to this do i want to hear the second part uh would have touched the body that would have dirtied the soul this has to be cleansed hence we are doing whatever we are doing i don't want to be party to such rituals being done once i pass then you can leave clear instructions however there is only so much you can do after death if those instructions are not followed uh i think this thing about uh 
making the soul unclean is just bizarre because even in hindu scriptures it says that the soul can the soul cannot become unclean rasal says vimo i want to ask you that atheist accuse religious people of hate mongering but what about atheist who spread hatred anyone who spreads hatred should be condemned the point is religious people spread hatred in the name of their religion how many atheists are saying i am spreading hatred because that is what atheism demands from me right think about that i am not saying ki atheists hate monger nahi ho sakte hote hain bahut bar hote hain but it's not because of their atheism right we are at the 1 hour 10 minute mark i think we are reaching the end of today's episode uh i'll uh, before i end today's episode before i read the last couple of comments i'll just remind everyone ki i am an independent content creator my ability to produce the content that i make this live stream the videos and uh, my reels and shorts on instagram and my writings on my blog these are all sponsored by people like you so if you want to support my work you can join this channel by becoming a member by clicking the join become join join button below this video or on the main page of this channel uh, you can also send money via upi at vimo at upi vimoh at the rate upi all the money comes to me nobody takes a cut of it Uh, youtube takes a cut patreon is also there patreon.com slash vimo if you want to support there you can also simply go to my website www.vimo.in and click the support button there in order to make a contribution of any amount of your choice there's no membership scheme just a one time payment of your choice so thanks in advance for all of that and uh, then we reach our uh, last few comments Sham Sharma wants Hindurashtra in India but he himself lives in New Zealand and married to a white woman he is just making a fool out of his viewers ye bahut sare log ka dekhega actually uh, you guys remember that clip on beer by self channel where he is asking jay sai deepak three indians who should leave india right now and never return and i thought i should also make a video like that three indians who should leave india and never return i thought rajiv malhotra sham sharma and then i realized ye log to india chhod ke bahut pehle ja chuke hain the people who want other people to leave india many of them are not in india <laughs> uh okay already read that let's see mm-hmm. ek aur comment padta hu mm. onika says hi vimo never get to know about live unless i search why don't i get notifications can someone share I don't know Anika you can click the bell icon on the channel and set notifications to all videos so that whenever the live stream is happening you will get notified I'm sure you are subscribed click the bell icon and turn on all notifications so that every time I go live you will get a notification 30 minutes ahead and then when the stream starts again Hmm Targaryen says maybe know your opinion about why Kashmir has presidential rule but Manipur has a BJP CM when in fact Kashmir right now is less lawless than Manipur and both are border states hypocrisy absolutely hypocrisy but i wouldn't put it past them to employ a similar system in Manipur also so that Manipur also becomes a kind of Kashmir it's sad but that's what they seem to be going for and by the way the BJP CM there wanted to resign they didn't allow them because they could not control whoever would have replaced them you will find that they only look for people who they can control absolutely that is why a lot of senior ministers are being asked to fight mla elections this time in madhya pradesh look it up it's it's hilarious many of them don't want to fight election because they are in comfy positions but narendra modi has asked them to fight elections in like <laughs> mp mla level elections in madhya pradesh brother said says John 316 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life nice poetry i have seen such things in the bhagavad gita and the quran also a line written in a holy book is not evidence it's nice poetry uh apurv says ben 10 hamesha galat alien kyu chunta <laughs> because a huge part of tension in storytelling relies on mistakes being made star wars pe dekha hai galactic empire ke jo ships hain they're like gigantic perfect working order everyone knows their job gleaming ships millennium falcon ke taar latak rahe hote hain yahan spark wahan spark ye us pe chilla raha hai mujhe hathoda de isko repair karna hai despite the fact that we are moving at multiple times the speed of light 
it's a way of making your central character vulnerable it makes the character more relatable to the audience i'm sure you already knew that i don't know why i'm being so pedantic ben 10 or shaktiman ben 10 gojo in fact gojo indian superhero shrijan uh, shrijan says vimo what is your opinion on libertarianism with a small government law and order infrastructure and some kind of minimum safety net like negative income tax of uh, malcolm friedman in this libertarian system uh, what kind of regulation do we have on corporations or capitalists that's what i want to know if the government is so small that it cannot regulate the market then it's not going to remain a libertarian system for a long time and it's going to become that same capitalistic nightmare that many countries find themselves in libertarianism is more or less a fantasy the government does need to be able to regulate markets otherwise the markets will just swallow everything and everything will be decided on the basis of profit Ark says, "When I say creamy layer on OBC being justified, I mean when in 1992 creamy layer was introduced, it was only applied to OBC. Why? I cannot say. I don't remember what happened in 1992. I'll read up about it and we'll talk about it later." Hmm. 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 when people struggle with deriving meaning from life without religion respect and care for others should be meaning enough can't understand why this becomes a moral conundrum uh, mostly because of withdrawal symptoms like if someone has spent their entire life finding meaning in fairy tales and you suddenly tell them that nope that's completely gone from your life now of course they will not find meaning in all the other things because they have been told that this life does not matter these people don't matter what matters is what comes after you die in another world so most religious discourse ends up devaluing this world this life and these people if you suddenly take someone who believes that and put them in a world where you say this world is all that there is and these people are the only thing that matter they are obviously going to be confused Mm, would you support legislation for children's freedom from religious cultist indoctrination of children it's more complex than that how would you free children from that would you make it illegal for parents to talk to children about certain things how will you enforce that how will you enforce that how will you make sure that children are not getting indoctrinated into religion at any point of any level in their life right so it's complex ideally i would recommend that the best way to give children a secular mindset is to just expose them to all social realities and then educate them about you know this is a thing this is a thing this is a thing make up your own mind and then be there for them when they ask questions to prevent people from doing something is kind of sort of like one of the problems is if you tell a child no religion the child will at some point go into religion just to piss you off you know teenage exists right rebellious teenagers are a thing but anyway thank you for joining today's live stream we are going to end today's live stream here it's been 1 hour 18 minutes thank you everyone for joining uh, i think the next time i see you will be saturday when i will be taking callers anyone who wants to talk face to face can come on saturday at 8 pm and uh, click the link in the link pinned to the top of the chat and uh, we'll talk until then please take care of yourselves and uh, hold on mm -hmm. until then please take care of yourselves and uh, i'll see you on saturday have a great rest of the week bye bye